This is something I've wanted to do for a little while now, is to weigh my motorhome. Uh, my motorhome's maximum weight, permitted weight, is 4,250 kilograms. And that sounds like a lot, and um, it should give you plenty of payload, but just how much stuff can you take with you? Now, it is possible, perfectly possible, to overload a 4,250 uh, kilogram van, but it's also equally possible to overload a, a 3,500 kilogram van. Now, there's a lot of 3,500 kilogram van, max weight vans coming out at the moment, and there is always the danger of over, uh, overloading. So it's vitally important to get your motorhome weighed. Uh, obviously there's safety implications if your van is overweight and obviously there's legal implications if you're found to be overweight. Plus, some people will not be able to drive uh, vans over 3,500 and particularly if they've pa um, passed their licence between first of, before the 1st of January to 97 or if they're over 70 at the moment. Uh, there are some complications there about that weight limit so people are looking to downsize their vans so if you've got a van uh, and you're not so sure about what sort of weight it is uh, you might just want to watch this video and you might find it useful so here we go so under your bonnet you'll find a little label this is an Alco label because I've got an Alco chassis and there are four weights on it 4250 at the top is the maximum weight your vehicle can weigh 6,000 is the maximum weight you, you, your vehicle and your uh, trailer can weigh and the number one is the maximum weight on your front axle and the number two is the maximum weight on your rear axle. So I drove to a weighbridge to get my vehicle weighed. And as I drove up the weighbridge there's a little uh, lady in a hut and She's obviously used to doing this, and as I stopped, I said hello, and come to weigh my motorhome, and almost instantaneously she gave me a little post-it, and the post-it said 3,580 kilograms. I explained that I wanted to weigh both axles, so she said, well, probably the best thing to do then is just pull forward and weigh the rear axle. So I just moved the van forward a little bit and I just the front get the front wheels off the weighbridge and that allowed us to get the weight of the rear axle. So she gave me, um, well, she'll give me another post-it in a minute. But then she suggested that if I go onto the other weighbridge, I can weigh the front axle. So I've actually got two weighbridges here. So I drove onto that and then she came out with another post-it with both the front axle and the rear axle weights written on them. Yeah. Is there any, yeah. No, I'm not fully loaded anyway, so that's yeah. great. Oh, that's brilliant. Okay. Excellent. I've always wanted to know. <laughs> At least I know I'm legal. Right, yeah. Yeah. Well, these are these are four two fifty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is. <laughs> yeah, this this is getting on for four years old now, but uh, yeah. Carry on. Thanks for your help. Oh, you're all right. All right. Thank you. See you then. amongst you probably have spotted that the post-its uh, front and rear axle weights don't quite add up to the 3580 kilograms total weight I think that's because it was on a slight slope when it was weighing either the front or the rear axle but I mean the key thing is the um, the total weight 3580 now the thing to bear in mind is that I wasn't fully loaded up when I actually um, when went and got it weighed Jenny wasn't with me, Poppy wasn't with me, I hadn't got the food in yet um, and if we add all of that together plus I went and filled up with fuel, I actually added 50 litres of, uh, of diesel um, 
and you add I add all that up and um, would you believe we bought 35.5 uh, kilograms of food with us that comes to 200 kilograms uh, so now the weight's gone up to 3,780 kilograms. So it, it's food for thought. I can see how easy it is to get overloaded. So I think it's a really good idea every so often to get, a, get your van loaded up, take it to the Weybridge and just see how much it does weigh. It might just save you an awful lot of aggravation. Anyway, so that's it for now. Uh, if you like what you see, give us a thumbs up. Uh, remember to subscribe, hit the notifications icon and if you've got any questions, comments, please leave them in the comments below and I'll be happy to, uh, to answer them. So until next time, see you then.